Okay, let's see if we can do this this video on film simulation bracketing. Uh, first we turn the camera on. Okay, so there we are, we've got our image, we've got something there. First thing we've got to do is to decide what films we want to use in a simulation bracket. What the camera is going to do is it's going to take three different photographs with a single press of the shutter. It does that and it then in software converts them into the various films that we've chosen. So the first thing we need to do is go into menu OK. Now the first line there says um, bracket advanced settings and that's the one we want. That's the first line of the first menu. So we just press the right hand button. OK and now we need to go down to film simulation bracket right click and that gives us the three films that we can now select so what we do now is you can see there's a little arrow film one we go to the right now it's important to set here the film that you're most likely to like as you can see you've got standard color you've got vivid color you've got soft color um, the classic chrome is a, an old slide film Pro Negative 1 and 2 down there, um, they were print films, so that it was equivalent, what you will get is what that print film would have looked like after it had been developed. Further down, we come down and we've got the monochrome settings, we've got four monochrome settings, and below that we've got sepia. So those are our four choice, uh, our number of choices. The first one is to set the one that you're going to use most of the time. Now, from my point of view, um, I like strong, punchy colours. So, I want the vivid Velvia. So, all I do is I highlight it by the, pressing the arrows up and down. OK, and then press Menu OK. And I've now set Velvia as my first film. Then I come down. I want film number two now. So we come across again. Now just in case Velvia is a little bit harsh, it's a very sunny day, lots of contrast, Velvia will be very harsh, we'll try a soft version. And the soft version, as you can see, is Astia. So we go up to Astia, choose it, press menu OK, and that becomes the soft version number two. For our third film, it would be handy just to see if black and white would work well. Now at the moment it's set to sepia. So what I'm going to do is, um, you, you've got your three filtered ones here, yellow, red and green. Unless you know what they do, leave them alone. Um, because the red one will make reds white, the green one will make greens white. Well not white, but paler. So if you just want something that's going to look like a black version of your colour film, then go up and just choose monochrome. Okay, so we press monochrome and now we've got all three set and now we need to press um, back to set it. So we press back and that takes us back to there. Half press on the shutter button and we're out. Okay, that's the easy bit. <laughs> now what we need to do is we need to assign one of the buttons on the camera. You know we've got many, many buttons on this camera, on the front and on the back. We need to set that to be the button that will take us into the function of film simulation bracketing. Okay, so what we'll do first is we'll, we'll find where that button is. So we're going to use this one on the front, this button here. It's right near the finger as you're holding the grip. And so that is really handy one to use. You've just got to touch it and away you go. But to assign that button to the function key, see down here where it says display back. Press that and hold it for a couple of seconds and it will change to that. Now you can see all your different function keys down the side here and that refers to all these little buttons and the one on the front and a little image on the back here on the side which shows where that button is on the camera as you can see that's the one that we want the one in the front if we go down through with the others you can see 
the ones on the back are lit up. But we'll stay with the one we want, which is function one. So now you see it's got a little arrow again. That means we can use the right function arrow. And it's set at the moment on image quality, which means that if I press it now, I can set it to raw, I can set it to JPEG, I can set it to raw and JPEG, anything I want. But what we want is the bracket advanced one at the top. So we go to that and all we do is press menu OK. And that now sets that button to that. So if we go back now, half shutter button, now, if I press that button on the front, oh, no, sorry, what I forgot to say is, is we're in single shot at the moment, which is where you normally take your photograph. For bracketing, once you need to take a, a bracketed photograph, you come to BKT on the end here. All right, now when you press your, your front button, it tells you you're in film simulation bracketing. Okay, single half press will take us out. Now what we do is we take a photograph and watch what happens. Do you see that? We've actually got three different images. Now it hasn't taken three images, it's taken just one image. But the camera software, because they're JPEGs, it has made one look like Velvia, one look like Astia, and one look like black and white. Now we can see that if we go back into the replay button. There's one, there's two, there's three. There's your three different shots that you've now just taken on film simulation. Now, the thing is, you must remember once you've done this, that you have to, when you then go back to shooting and you want to shoot raw, you have to come out of bracket because otherwise you'll just be taking three JPEGs all day long. So you need to come back to the S function we see where the line is. That's the one we had the argument about one before. And uh, so that, that's all there is to it, really. So every time you want to, to go into bracketing, just click across. You don't have to press the button to check. Just take the photograph. Here we go. And there's your three shots. If I go back to single, take a shot. That's just my raw shot. Okay, does that make sense? I sincerely hope it does anyway.